are you feeding your feeders? Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. So today is less of a reptile video and more of a reptile related video. Today I want to talk to you guys about gut loading your insects. So this is something that I've briefly touched on in a lot of my other videos, especially my lizard care videos. Gut loading is a process by which you're going to feed your feeders to make sure they're super nutritious for your lizards. And the way that you do that is by feeding them super nutritious diets. Now this seems like absolutely a no brainer to me, but I remember when I first got Zaz, my bearded dragon, this concept was completely foreign to me. I always just assumed that you went to the pet store and you bought worms or crickets and you fed them off little by a little to your animal and that was it but that is not the case that is not the way that your reptile is going to achieve maximum nutrition from their bugs and this is especially important if you are buying large quantities of insects especially if you're like feeding a baby bearded dragon that eats a lot or if you have a lot of reptiles this is something that you're going to make sure that you're going to want to do because most likely you're not going to the pet store every single day and if you are and you're feeding a baby bearded dragon or a collection of reptiles you really need to be ordering them online because buying huge quantities of things like crickets and roaches and stuff is so much cheaper if you order them by the case online. For example, if you order a large case of crickets online, you could be spending four or five cents a cricket as opposed to 15, 16 cent a cricket at your local pet store. So obviously if you're buying large quantities of bugs like that, they're not just going to sit in the container that they're sent in or else you would be feeding your animal dehydrated, malnourished bugs and that's basically the same as feeding them potato chips. And before I start going into detail about this, I just want to say that this is not a replacement for dusting your insects. You're still going to need to dust your insects in most scenarios with a calcium powder or a vitamin supplement even though they are gut loaded just because there's no way to tell 100% for sure if all those nutrients are still in that cricket or that roach or the worm or whatever by the time you feed them to your animal. So for the most part we're going to be talking along the lines of crickets and dubia roaches and superworms and mealworms and basically you're setting up a habitat for these creatures. So what I have here is a small Tupperware that I have drilled holes into the top and this is where my dubia roaches live and when I do get crickets I do the same thing for them but this is the way I go about setting up for my doobie roaches and my crickets. First thing that you're going to want to need is a place for them to hide. Now these are smaller setups. If you are ordering containers of a thousand crickets, you're going to need the huge Sterilite containers because crickets can't climb all over each other or it'll kill them. And you are going to need lots of egg flats. And egg flats are fantastic to stack on top of each other and it gives the crickets lots of surface area to walk around. But with Cricut, surface space is key. And with Dubia roaches, hiding space is key. With the Dubia roaches, I just use old toilet paper rolls, old paper towel rolls, because they can actually get inside of those and hide. Dubia roaches do not like light so they will go and hide in any dark space that they can find. The next most important thing is gonna be some kind of container to hold their food and water. I use these gecko feeding trays just because I have a crested gecko and I have a gargle gecko so I have to buy these anyway for their ledges but you can also use soda lids, milk lids. I've even gone and bought the super cheap flimsy plastic cups and just cut it down to where it was just the bottom part to fill those with food. Just something to hold that food in so it doesn't make a mess in your container. So I use three of those for the crickets and dubia roaches. In one I put a napkin that I then soak in water so that they can get their water. You don't want to put just a straight water dish in there because they can get in there and drown. Or you can actually buy commercial water crystals that you can put in there. There's like a cricket water pouch, just like a little pillow that you can buy to put in there. 
I just use napkins with water because it's super cheap and super easy. As far as what to feed them, you have a lot of options. You can do just regular fresh vegetables, stay away from lettuces and stuff like that, but do turnip greens, mustard greens, collard greens, literally whatever. But if you're gonna do vegetables, make sure that you're using a variety and not just the same thing over and over. For the doobie roaches, I'll put the leafy greens in there occasionally, but for the most part, what I use are the pre-made diets. So I use Fluker's High Calcium Cricket Diet, and it gives them a bunch of calcium. So I just take one of those little gecko bowls and scoop it out, and I put that in there. And in the other dish, I use these bearded dragon food pellets. I bought this when I very first got Zaz, and I didn't know that this isn't something that they were supposed to eat all the time, which it didn't matter because she is terrified of these. I don't know what it is to this day. If I put any of these in her tank, she will run and hide. But they contain a whole bunch of vitamins and minerals and protein that you would give to your bearded dragon. So giving them to your feeder insects gives them those same nutrients. And they absolutely love this, especially the doobie roaches. Every time I fill that bowl up, I always see doobie roaches run up to it. They grab the pellets and they take it back to their little hiding areas and they eat in there. But you can feed them any kind of commercial reptile food like that and it works out fantastically. Fluker's also makes a cricket gut load that's orange cubes. You can do those. I used to do those all the time. They really like that too and they will destroy those. And also those orange cubes I think actually provide moisture and like water for the insects as well. Rapashi makes a gut load. I think they even make a gut load that you microwave, which is really cool. But there's all different brands of that. If you don't want to do the fresh vegetables or you run out of vegetables or you run out of any of these powders, you can even gut load them with fish flakes and dry cat food and anything like that that is made to have a lot of nutrients in it. Just make sure that you are feeding your feeders. And very important, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are cleaning these containers out. Because of this, I prefer doobie roaches so much more than crickets. It's so much cleaner, which is weird to think about roaches being cleaner, but they are. The crickets, you gotta make sure you're cleaning those out. You gotta make sure you're taking out any dead crickets and just making sure that they are eating. Onto the millworms and superworms, their setups are gonna be much easier. What I do is I use these little critter keepers and I just pour oatmeal into them. And then I also pour the high calcium flukers cricket powder in there. And I make sure that every other day, every two days, whenever I notice that it needs to be done, I'm putting fresh greens on top. They will eat those greens and they'll eat the cricket powder and they'll eat the oatmeal. And you can also just kind of take a water bottle and very lightly spray the top of those greens whenever you put them in there. So every few days. And if you see here, there's actually beetles in here as well. And keeping up on their eating needs, they actually reproduce in there. Superworms are a lot harder. That's something else entirely. But the mealworms will actually reproduce in here. You'll see beetles on the top and then the mealworms and you'll see baby mealworms in the bottom. And you have a pretty good supply of mealworms there and since you raise them they are already gut loaded so you're gonna want to make sure that these bugs are being gut loaded for at least 24 hours before you feed them to your animals most pet stores are gonna feed crickets and things like that a very low nutrient diet because it's what's cheap but honestly they're still feeding them so on that first day that you bring those bugs home it's fine to feed those to your animal just make sure you immediately get them into some kind of container where they have access to food so that way they are gut loading while your animal is waiting to eat the next day also keep in mind that there is a brand of bugs called vita bugs and there's also calci worms that are bugs that actually come gut loaded. The hornworms that I buy are from Vitabugs and when you buy those, they are in a container with a nutritious food for them around the top and they eat that and it gut loads them. So that's something that you don't have to worry about. However, that gut load doesn't last. So again, if you're buying large quantities, you're still gonna have to set up a container for them where they can access food and water. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Once I get this edited, it's probably gonna be a pretty short video, but I just felt like it was very important to talk to you guys about gut loading. Cause like I said, when I first got my bearded dragon, I didn't even understand this whole concept and I didn't know that you had to feed feeders. I just thought you went to the store and bought them and 
that was it. So hopefully this was helpful to at least some of you guys. And yeah, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me over there at L.622 where I try my best to post pictures of my animals throughout the week. Thank you so much to Tay's World of Reptiles for going through my Instagram and liking a bunch of my pictures. You are the bee's knees. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every single Sunday. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.